Donovan Hilton here. We have to begin the sales process, which means we have to engage decision makers and get those decision makers to open up. Let's talk about how to do that. Okay, great. So the first step to the sales pipeline is to get your prospects to become engaged with you in conversation and get them to open up to be able to introduce your product or service. How do you do that? Well, there's an art. First of all, understand if you have a product or service that you have to sell, that's not the product or service that you want to represent. You want to choose a product or service that sells itself based upon the current needs in the marketplace. And so therefore, all you're doing is introducing a true solution to prospects that don't know your product or service exists and are in need of your product or service. So keeping those things in mind, always understand when you're going to engage and open up to decision makers, you are a consultant first, salesperson last. And uh, what I mean by that is your job is to, one, um, focus on decreasing the guard of that decision maker because they are always used to being sold, being told what to do and everybody's coming to them with advertising opportunities so they're already thinking the worst in the fact that you don't have their best interest in mind and so you have to create a brand of someone that is an asset for someone else so that way when you open your mouth to speak to introduce solutions to them they're going to listen because they're going to say hey I know this individual has the best interest for me and that goes back to um, a video that I did previously uh, on uh, understanding your prospects needs under community engagement and so bringing it back all the way around you want to understand that you're the consultant you're bringing information out so ultimately you do want to introduce your service but you want to begin the conversation with uh, when you're dealing with your prospects is so how is business going just keep it real broad how's business going and obviously you want to keep the conversation focused on the service that you provide or the product that you provide how are business go how is business going uh, do you see any challenges that you're facing right now and as you are getting receiving that information as far as the challenges you're listening for keywords that actually complement the product or service that you're selling if you don't hear any keywords then there's nothing there um, and then at the same time after you want to find out what those challenges are uh, and again, you want to know that, okay, I'm in marketing, I'm in sales, I'm in human resource, I'm in operations, I'm in finance, I'm in information technology, uh, whatever have you, know what particular department that you're representing so you know what keywords to listen to as you're looking to introduce your product or service. So as they talk about their challenges, you do want to let them know, and me being in marketing and sales, hey, well, I am a skilled grassroots marketing expert. And even though we're talking marketing, is a very specific niche that I provide. Grassroots marketing, which is face-to-face, -face, local, territorial marketing. It's a big difference compared to your traditional marketing. Um, and so therefore, um, this is what I provide. I would love to be able to introduce some solutions that my firm provides to see if we can uh, battle some of those challenges that you're, that you're experiencing. And therefore, we can see if our, my service or product is a good fit. So ultimately, uh, you have to be a good listener, but ultimately, uh, when you're looking to introduce your product or service, you want to be someone that's pulling information out by asking questions. When you're able to do that, you can find the right time in grace, uh, which is effortless beauty, naturally to introduce your service or product because it's a product or service that sells itself. Could be um, overwhelming, but I'm just giving you an overall principle of how um, engaging and creating an open conversation with decision makers work. Thanks so much, Don Hilton, www.e1connect.com, improving your business is my business.